Let us now take the second model from this topic of analogy which is based on alphabet analogy. As I've mentioned earlier, the questions from alphabet analogy are all based on the letters of the English alphabet. And most of the questions from this area are based on the positions of the letters. Right? So here we need to understand what kind of positions have been taken from the English alphabet to find out the analogous pair or to complete the analogous pair. Let's have a look at some of the examples here. The first example here is B is to Y in the same way A is to what? So B is related to Y then A is related to what? Now as I've mentioned the questions here are based on the positions of this alphabet. Right? Most of the times we find that the logic is based on the positions. So let's try to understand what positions have been picked up. And if you remember in one of the earlier topics of reasoning that is coding and decoding we have known the importance of the positions. There are many other topics where the positions of the letters in the English alphabet are important. So make sure that you remember all these positions perfectly. So that while answering these kind of questions you don't spend too much time in finding out the actual position. You must make sure that you remember all the positions by heart. So going by the positions we know that B is the second letter of the English alphabet whereas Z is the 25th letter and A is the first letter. Now if you try to observe B is actually the second letter in the alphabetical order and Y is the second letter in the reverse alphabetical order. Yes or no? If you go by the reverse alphabetical order we have Z, Y, X, W and so on. So Y comes in the second position from the reverse order. So the logic here is that if you take the second letter from the alphabetical order the pair will be completed when you take the second letter from the reverse alphabetical order. Likewise, A here is the first letter in the alphabetical order. So what's the first letter in the reverse alphabetical order? It is Z. So the answer for this question has to be option 3 that is Z. So if B is related to Y then A is related to Z. The logic there is that we are taking letters from the alphabetical order and the reverse alphabetical order in the same positions to complete a pair. Let us now move on to the next talk. example, example 2. Here we have got pairs of letter in every position. AG is related to IO. Then EK is related to what? Now without worrying about anything else, just try to understand the logic in the positions. Right? The logic is not based on the letters. The logic is based on the positions of these letters. Now if you look at the positions here, A is first letter, G is the seventh letter. I is 9, O is 15, E is 5, K is 11. Right? Now let's understand. What is the logic behind taking up these positions? 1 and 7, 9 and 15. Now what do you see here? One common observation that can be made here is 1 plus 6 is 7, 9 plus 6 is 15. Even if you look at this word, 5 plus 6 is 11. So clearly in each pair we are taking a particular position and then plus 6 positions in the forward direction. Yes or no? 1 plus 6, 7. So 1 is nothing but the first letter A and the letter in the 7th position is G. So we are just moving or jumping 6 positions in the forward direction. Likewise 9 and 15. So I plus 6 position in the forward direction gives us O. Right? Likewise 5, 11. So now we need to find out what comes in place of the question mark. Now one observation that we have made here is that in each pair the distance between the two letters is 6. So by moving 6 positions in the forward direction we get the second letter of the given pair. So let's verify which of these options satisfies that logic. Right? If you look at first option L is 12th letter, R is the 18th letter and 12 plus 6 is 18. That means from L when we move 6 positions in the forward direction we get R. This satisfies the logic here. But then we also have to verify the remaining options because sometimes more than one option satisfies the condition given and in that case we have to look for some other condition. So first of all let's verify the distance in the letters of the remaining options. M is 13 and S is 19. As you can see here 13 plus 6 is 19. So this is what is important. We have to mark the answer only when we are sure that all the kind of logics are satisfied. Here if you observe even first option and the second option both of them satisfy the logic of the distance between the two letters. Let's look at the third and the fourth one. P is 16 and V is the 22nd letter. Even here we find the logic is satisfied. Whereas in SY, S is the 19th letter and Y is 25th letter. So 19 plus 6 is 25. So as you can see all the four options have satisfied the first logic which now does not help us to mark the right answer. 
so let's try to look for some other observation or some other logic which can help us find out the correct answer let us now look at the first positions in each pair the first position here is a and the first position here is i if you look at the distance between these two letters a is 1 and i is 9 how much is the distance 8 we are moving 8 positions in the forward direction likewise in the second positions of each pair g and o 7 and 15 7 plus 8 is 15 that means even in the second pair the distance is 8 so clearly even in the second set here we have to make sure that the letter which is taken here in the first position is 8 places away from e and the letter in the second position is 8 places away from k now if e is the fifth letter what is 5 plus 8 5 plus 8 is 13 that means the answer here has to start with 13th position what is the 13th position 13th position is m and if you look at the answer options there is only one option which satisfies this which starts with m so we can now say that the second option ms is the correct answer if we have to verify further we will just try to check the second position as well 11 plus 8 is 19 and what is 19th position 19th position is s so as you can see even the second position is satisfied s but this here is not required as only one option starts with m in situations where two options start with m or more than one option starts with m we have to worry about the second position of the given pair so that we can find out the right answer so this is how we only have to work out on the positions as quickly as possible to get the right answer and for this to happen you have to make sure that you remember all these 26 letters or the positions of these 26 letters by heart let us now look at the next example that is example 3 it says cat is to ddy then big is to what let's quickly work on the positions there c is 3 a is 1 and t is 20 d is 4 4 and y is 25 here b is 2 i is 9 and g is 7 now let's look at what could be the logic in taking up these positions the word is cat here and the word here is big but we need to understand what made us get the second word here that is ddy if you look at the first positions here it is c which is 3 and here we have d which is 4 3 plus 1 is 4 look at the second positions a that is 1 and d which is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 and the third position 20 and 25 20 plus 5 is 25 so if you try to take the relative distance between the first second and the third letters of each of these triplets we find that we have plus one in the first position plus three in the second position and plus five in the third position so a similar logic can be applied here to get the answer right the first position is one place away second position is three places away and the third position is five places away so let's work out accordingly here now b is two two plus 1 because the first letter is only one position away what is 2 plus 1 3 and what is the third letter here c so the answer has to start with c and when you look at the options all the options here start with c so let's now move on to the next position the next position here is 9 and we know that in the second position we are taking three places away 9 plus 3 is 12 so the second letter here has to be the 12th position what is the 12th position of the english alphabet it is l so it has to be l in the second position now again when we look at the options we have in the first option c and l second option as well c and l third option is c with m so this cannot be the answer and fourth option is c with e so even fourth option is ruled out so answer either has to be first option or the second option now by working on the last position we will be able to mark the right answer the last position here is g that is 7 and going by the logic the last position has been moved five places in the forward direction so 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 is 12 so this should be the 12th letter and what's the 12th letter 12th letter is l again which means the answer here has to be c l l which is first option so we can say that first option c l l is the right answer so this is how we just need to work on the positions to get the right answer let us now look at the last example from the second model the question says d d a is to a d d so r r b is to what now again we can work on the positions but before working on the positions one observation that we can make here is that the letters in both the sets are same here we have d d a and again in the second set as well we have same letters d d and a but they have been reversed so 
DDA when reverse becomes ADD. So it's obvious that even in the answer or in, in the second set, if it is RRB, the answer should be BRR. It should have same letters but in the reverse order. So DDA when it becomes ADD, reverse, RRB should become BRR. Now look at the options. First option is BBR, whereas we are looking for BRR. So first option is ruled out. Second option is RBR, which anyway is ruled out. The third option says BRR, which is correct. When we go in the reverse order, we have BRR. And even in the fourth option, we have BRR. So the answer has to be either the third option or the fourth option. Now how we decide which one is correct here? Just look at what kind of letters have been used. Either is it capital letter or small letters. If you look at the first position here, it is capital D, which becomes the last position, which is same capital D. That means here if it is capital R, in the last position we should have capital R. Look at the second position, small d, which remains the second position in the answer. But here it has become capital D. Small d becomes capital D. So here small r should become capital R. That is, we are going in the reverse direction. So capital R. And look at the last letter, small a, which becomes the first letter here, which is small a. So here last letter small b becomes the first letter which remains small b. So we just have to take care of the case sensitivity there, small letters or capital letters. So DDA becomes ADD, RRB becomes BRR with the following case sensitivity. So BRR is in the fourth option which is small b, capital R and capital R. So this is the right answer for example 4. So as you can see this example is not based on the positions but on the same letters taken in the reverse order with a different case sensitivity. So just by working on that, we'll be able to get the right answer.